Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwan and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my weekly Sunday vlog for November 29th, 2020. In this video we talk about the updates, what's been going on me for the past week. I have some reviews and thoughts on video games I played this past week and also TV shows and movies that I watched this past week. We're also gonna do a Q&A and shout out segment. Actually, let's do that first. So, one person asked for a shout out in last week's vlog. If you ask me for a shout out or you ask me a question in last week's vlog, I picked out some questions to answer, but I'm gonna give everyone to ask for a shout out, uh, their shout out, okay? Only one person asked for a shout out, and that is Young X Jesus. So Young X Jesus, shout out to you. Thank you for uh, checking out my videos and spreading the word about the channel, liking and commenting and all that stuff. You are awesome, okay? I picked out seven questions this week, all right? Usually it's a little less than that. But uh, I thought all these questions were worth answering, plus I have the time for it, too, because of the Thanksgiving break and all that. So the first question we have here is from BTJ Ling, BTG Ling, BTJ Ling, B-E-T-E-G-E-L-I-N-G, -E -E okay? They asked, do you have a girl, David? Well, <laughs> I had a girl, sort of. I was texting this one girl. We never been, became a couple or anything like that, but we met on a dating site, okay? And I've been texting her pretty much every day for the past month, okay? And uh, we met once. We went for a one hour long uh, walk around the park, okay? And um, we've been having some FaceTime dates. Like we would meet together on, on the weekends. We had FaceTime dates, right? Uh, she pretty much said that it's not working out. And I'll be honest with you, I, I kind of agree with her. I have on my computer a Word document with conversation topics. Like, I've never had to use notes before to keep the conversation going, you know? For Eunice, Danielle, Elizabeth, like, all the previous girls that are, like, in my life, like, that, I never had to, like, um, use notes to keep the conversation going. It really reflows, you know? We're always talking about something. This girl, we had no movies, no music. We don't like the same, like, TV shows and stuff like that. And um, food also. She, she, she's not into the same food I am uh, that I'm into, you know? And uh, I'm, I've been waiting for this, waiting for her to just say, you know what, it's not working out, you know? But we hung out for a, a good month, okay? So, <laughs> you wanna hear the comp I actually recorded our final phone conversation when she like, like broke it off, okay? I, why not? <laughs> Let, let's hear it. <laughs> let's go in here. So, before we got to this part, you know? Cause she called me and she was like, hey David, uh, you know, it's been a good month of knowing you and stuff, but... And then I, I started, oh boy, here here we go. I better record this conversation, you know? Okay, here it is. Here's the final phone call from this one girl. Um, I'm thinking about, you know, the future. Right. Had some extra time the last couple of days thanks to the holiday. Um, I just, I don't know that I... I see us going a lot further. Okay, I understand. I was kind of feeling the same way, honestly. I was like, I've been trying to make it work, but a lot of... Yeah, uh, you know, there's no sense of forcing something. I've learned that the hard way, that if there's just not a lot there. Yeah. You can't make something out of nothing, so... Right, I understand. Yeah. All right, well, um, best of luck to you in the future. I'm sure you're... So that's it. I'm single again. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if this uh, Ling person here, BT Jelling or whatever, is. Uh, I don't know why you asked that question, but if you happen to be a, a girl and you're you're interested, I'm I'm free. I'm available. <laughs> All right. Next question. Nestor Rodriguez asked me, "How did you and Nathaniel met?" So Nathaniel's like my best friend here in uh, in Houston. All right. I mean, when I was, it's kind of funny because when I was living up in Lawrence, uh, the college, you know, I, um, I, um, I had a friend named Nathaniel up there too. So it's kind of funny. I have, I have Nathaniels as, as friends, you know. Um, <clears throat> we met uh, at a uh, wrestling event. It was Elimination Chamber from WWE 2019. All right. Um, he actually 
uh, messaged me on Instagram and was like, hey, dude, I'm going to this, this event too, you know? And here are my seats. And I was like, you know, let's meet up, you know? So, 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 so we did that. And then later on, you know, we bump into each other at this wrestling event and bump into each other at this wrestling event. I was like, you know what? Let's start hanging out. Let's carpool, you know? And uh, maybe, uh, afterwards, after these events, you know, let's go, uh, let's hang out, you know? So uh, that's how we met. Suddenly now we're, you know, we're hanging out like all the time. You know, we're, we're like best buddies, okay? And actually, you know what? When she, uh, uh, when she ended it, you know, he was the first one I, I chatted to. I was like, dude, <laughs> she, uh, she ended it, you know? And he was like, oh, I'm sorry, bro. And, you know, he, so he's good support also, you know? Uh, I, I need a friend like him. Uh, ben S., how da David, how are you? Uh, how is Zombies and Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War? Uh, that's from Ben S. I'm fine, Ben. Um, I played like three sessions of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, uh, Zombies, and all three times, I've only live streamed one of them. Uh, I, uh, I never got that far, okay? You actually cap it off to make it only 20, uh, 20 rounds if you want. But it was like, I turn on the power. I managed to do that, and I like went into some type of vortex, and with some type of other, other, I went to some other dimension, right? And I ran around there a little bit, and then I got lost and whatever, and uh, and then I played it again. But I did live stream myself. There's a video of me playing um, the campaign on realism difficulty. Okay, there's only one video that says that. It's like Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War campaign realism difficulty, right? Because um, I beat the last mission on realism. I played it once on, on Better and I played it again on Realism. But anyway, um, I played Zombies in that live stream, all right? So you see, like, how I managed to figure out how to, you know, get to the power and turn it on and stuff like that. And I zapped the Vortex, like, twice or whatever, the interdimensional uh, portals or whatever. Uh, so I just need to, like, practice, like, like pl play some more, you know? What I really like about the new Black Ops uh, Cold War Zombies, like you can actually pick your weapon from the beginning. Like usually you start with a pistol or something, right? This time you can actually uh, you can pick like the M16 or whatever as, as your first weapons. And I really like that, okay? Um, next question here is Lanes A Moose. So what's the best cereal? <laughs> I, uh, for me, I grew up eating Apple Jacks. My, like, my family eats Apple Jacks all the time, and I just kind of got into it also. So Apple Jacks, for me, is my favorite cereal. I like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but it's not exactly as healthy, you know? I like Fruit Loops, but I think uh, Apple Jacks is like, you know, Apple a day keeps, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it, it, it's healthier, okay? Uh, guitars and other things, okay? Another question. Hey, Dave, are you gonna get a PS5? I keep answering this question in the live streams. I'll probably get the PS5 when they're available, first of all. And uh, number two, when they stop supporting the PS4. Like, like I got the PS4 because my PS3 broke down, right? I, I would probably say that if my PS3 was still working, I'd probably get my the PS4 much more later on, you know? Because most of the games I'm really into, uh, like Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain and, and Tomb Raider and and uh, Call of Duty, they, they were all on the PS3. But, you know uh, Black Ops 3? You know when Black Ops 3 on the Xbox 360 and PS3, they only had the campaign and zombies? It didn't have the, uh, uh, no, they had the multiplayer and zombies. They didn't have the campaign, right? When they start doing stuff like that for the PS4, it's probably time to move on. It's time, time to upgrade to the next uh, uh, PS5, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's say, the next Assassin's Creed, the next Call of Duty, like the games I actually follow, the next Battlefield or, or Far Cry or whatever, is only on the PS5, the PS4 cannot run it, okay? Or the Xbox One, it, it just can't handle it anymore. So that's when I will say that it's time to upgrade, okay? Until then, you know, it's actually Valhalla, Black Ops Cold War, you know, Grand Theft Auto V, whatever, you know? They're still available on the current systems, like not the current, the, the Previous, the PS4, Xbox One, you know what I'm saying? So I'll just continue playing it until they stop making games for it. How about that? Okay. Um, but if I can get it sooner, that, that'd be nice too. Okay. Harold Dexter asked me a question. He asked me, why haven't you seen Toy Story 4 yet? I did buy the movie. I just don't have time to come around and watch it, you know? 
you guys already know, I, when I buy, I buy things in bulk, you know? And uh, I have the movie, I have Toy Story 4, I have it on digital actually. And uh, I'll watch it eventually. I actually know how the movie ends, okay? So that's like one of the reasons why I haven't, like I spoiled the, the movie for myself. I don't know like how it got there and why Woody decide to do what he did, you know? But I know how the movie ends. I know what happens. I was like, <laughs> yeah. All right. So one of these days I'll actually sit down and watch it from beginning to end. Okay. But I, I, I saw like the end. That's like it. <laughs> um, Rabbit Dog 08 H20. Hey, David, for the Q&A, have you seen Scott Pilgrim vs. the World or read the Scott Pilgrim books? I haven't read the books. I've seen the movie, though. I saw Scott Pilgrim in theaters. I don't know. Like, was I even live streaming or talking about vlogs? And That was one of the movies I watched when it first came out. Okay, I saw it in theaters. And I, I, I laughed my butt off, man. I, I really enjoyed that movie. Uh, a lot of the uh, references. Like, I, I especially like the Chris Evans part. He had, like, clones of himself, you know? fighting and you always see that happen in, in video games and stuff you know it's like oh there's like shadow shadow characters that look like him like like they have a uh, uh, minions that, that that look like him whatever okay uh i think it's time to talk about the movies and video games i played this past week or uh, recently i did complete nba 2k 21's my career mode like the, the main story mode with all the cutscenes and stuff like that i did play a few uh games um of the main NBA games. But before you actually join the NBA, there's like a story mode. And I love the story mode this past year, okay? For uh, NBA 2K21. Um, so he plays a character named Junior, okay? He, he was in high school trying to get into a good college. Uh, from my character, we actually went to Oklahoma, okay? And we played for Oklahoma, you know? At one point, I had a girlfriend in college. And then she broke up with me. <laughs> Similar now, she broke up in real life. So he doesn't have a girl. My character doesn't have a girl in the game. And I don't have a girl in real life now. And then, uh, <clears throat> and then, uh, <clears throat> and then uh, I dropped out of school. Yeah, there, there was actually one time where we actually got into a fight. <laughs> you can see the clip on my Instagram. Um, my character got into a fight with his girlfriend. And then uh, he dropped out of school. <laughs> and then from there, they were, they were like, I had to find an agent to help me get into the NBA and stuff like that. When I finally got drafted in the NBA, I was like, great, now the My Career Mode can finally start, you know? Um, some of the more annoying things about the My Career Mode, during the My Career Mode, you can't, like, change the camera and stuff like that. You're stuck with the settings they have, okay? So you can't go turn into 2K camera. You can't turn off this and turn off, bring that up, you know? And, uh, <clears throat> but overall, I, I enjoy the game, okay? Uh, I really like that they, uh, I, I checked out the WNBA, uh, okay? Uh, they actually have women's basketball now. Uh, they actually have a, um, <clears throat> a lot of cool, you know, you can play as, you know, the 95 Chicago Bulls versus the Cleveland Cavaliers of today and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, uh, it's cool, you know? So you can play like Lakers, Kobe versus Lakers with, with uh, LeBron, you know? It's cool, okay? And as you can see, I have the Mama Fred for edition, or at least the box anyway. They came with extra, extra stuff, but uh, I really want just the packaging. So if you want, there's like a six hour long live stream video on my YouTube channel of me playing NBA 2K21. Another game I played a little farther back, like like during uh, October for uh, Halloween, I played Outlast, the whistleblower, which I didn't know this whole time. That was like the ending to the first game, all right? That's like the real ending. So, for the longest time, I played Outlast, I played Outlast 2, I never played Outlast Whistleblower. Whistleblower was actually like, like, a big connecting. I, I should have played that before I played Outlast 2, okay? That actually ended the series. No, not the end of the series, it ended, ended the first one, okay? So, I enjoyed that, okay? They had like a couple crazies that chase you and stuff like that, but they weren't as hard as like the main game, okay? I did see a couple movies and I watched like a TV show. I watched like two seasons this past week because of the Christmas, uh, the Thanksgiving break. I managed to finish like two, two seasons of, the, uh, of, a, of a series, okay? I saw The Office, seasons one and two. Season one only has like six episodes, all right? But uh, <clears throat> I really enjoyed the series so far. I think the most likable characters in the uh, show is Jim and Pam, all right? Like I, I, I want to see more of their story. Um, I think... <laughs> Dwight and Michael have the best lines, the best, like, stuff going on in their, their lives, okay? They're so, like, totally out of it, you know? They're, they're like, 
um, they're like they're, they're standout characters. They have the, like the best stuff to say in, in, the, in the show and stuff like that. Uh, best situations, you know. They're always getting themselves into trouble, and I'm like, dude, you're just digging yourself in a deeper hole, you know. <laughs> but uh, I really enjoyed the series. Okay, I I have the first five seasons on DVD. I bought the first five seasons. They're only like a couple bucks, man. One ninety nine. I saw it at a Goodwill, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna get the all, all they have here. They only, all they have were the first five seasons, so that's all I have. Okay, so I'll check out those, and uh, if I really like it, maybe I'll just buy, buy more DVDs or, or something, you know. But so far, I'm really liking The Office. Okay, I've seen many clips of The Office. You know, people like post them on Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that. So I, I've seen like a good chunk of the show, like what happens. Like I've seen. You know the CPR class and Michael like driving into the lake or something like that, and then there was another clip where like doing parkour. They're, they're like jumping from all over the office and stuff like that. I, I, I've seen those clips, all right. And I know there's more out there that's like you know tons of episodes, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing like what happens with uh, Jim and Pam. Like, will they get together and stuff like that? And also uh, Angela and Dwight. Like, I wonder if they get together too. I I, I really don't know their story. The movie I saw this past week, I saw it with my parents, was Fury, okay? The movie's fully in Vietnamese. There is like an English option in here. I didn't, I didn't watch it in English though. I watched it in Vietnamese. I, I understand Vietnamese, okay? Um, but I did have the subtitles on and stuff like that also. Oh, I have a, a notification that's like, won't go away, all right. Um, so the story that there's this mother, okay? Her child got kidnapped and she went all she went all Liam Neeson on, on, on these dudes, all right? <laughs> she tried to get her back. And plus save all the other kids that got abducted also, okay? So she teamed up with the police. But she was like her, she's like a, a one-woman army, you know? She was like beating all these dudes, you know? There was like John Wick-ish type fight scenes and stuff like that. Really, really exciting, okay? Really good, good quality uh, fights, you know? Choreography's amazing. The camera works great. Check out this movie if you haven't already. Uh, keep in mind, there, if you have the DVD, there is an English language available, but it's not mainly in English, okay? It's in uh, Vietnamese, okay? But uh, the movie was, was, was good. I, I like how it ended and stuff like that. Brutal scenes, by the way. This is not, not for kids. Let's just say that, okay? But uh, great action scenes. Uh, this is actually the girl she plays, like Rose's sister in Star Wars Last Jedi. I believe, okay? So I, I, I recognize her, okay? So, a mother who goes on the rampage against the people who kidnapped her. That's what the movie's about. All right, everyone. I want to thank you for uh, spending time with me this, this week, checking out my videos, all right? Um, thank you for watching. Be sure to comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, be sure to comment with a, with a question for next week's vlog. If you want a shout out, you know, say, hey, Dave, I just want a shout out this week, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.